smallmouth? It's not a smallmouth, it's a giant. That is, is, that's got a lot of power. It's a tank, dude. Tank. It's the kind we need right there. Get us back in the game. Three pounds, twelve ounces. Oh my gosh. There was a bunch of fish on this spot when we came up. Three twelve, almost four pounds. I am I'm about that. I want to get back in the water. <laughs> okay, where am I? Oh. That was critical with that with the live site. I could see it out in front of the boat, pitched over to it. He didn't hit it initially, but as it sat there down on the bottom, picked it up. I needed that one. There's another one. They got muscles right here. This is what I'm This is kind of really need to spray like this. Oh my gosh. Two pounds, seven ounces. All right. Let's try to get back into them as quick as I can. Oh man. There where I was, they were initially like that, right on the right when I pulled up, they were kind of piled up in an area, but they dispersed and you gotta catch as many as you can before they break up or before they kind of get wary to your actually being in the area. So this is a really good thing, obviously. You gotta catch as many as you can while the bite. When we first pulled up on this spot. snaggy bottom there's a bunch of rock down there I lost a couple of rock spots already so that craggy bottom like that those gobies that come in there those fish will come in here kill the goby just an ideal scenario with a lot of rock in there and uh Fish puts you in two pounds nine ounces out of sixth place. You're still in seven. Okay. You've got uh, 27 pounds eight ounces. Eight fish. Area where these fish will pull in and, and try to feed up on these gobies. Thank you, sir. Sure. This is going to be for TV.
house. I don't know why. It's bleeding like that. Woo! <laughs> oh man. That's the trickiest thing is you don't know when to stay or when to leave. You know, you're just fishing around, fishing around, and you, you don't see anything on the graph, and you come across a little area, and then boom, there's a mark on there. You pitch in there, and you got one, and so you just gotta kind of have to stay with it. Try to hit back in there before they disperse again. But it makes the leaving and staying a hard call. Because when we first pulled up here, saw a lot of bait fish, or a lot of marks on the screen, caught one little one, then nothing else. And then we had to break, 15 minutes later, catch those two, bam, bam, and it went dry again, and then boom, I got another one. But I'm feeling the, uh, I'm feeling the gobies here, so that's a good part, that's a positive. I can feel them just ticking on my bag. <laughs> You're two pounds nine ounces from seven. One test. Pounds eight ounces. I'll take him after a long dry spill. Made a move up on the swim, up on this flat here, throwing a swim bait, eking our way up there. Thank you. Woo. My goodness felt like uh, I felt like the, the pressure you always hear the guys on VPT say the pressure it's 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 incredible and yeah I, it just feels like at any moment you're gonna get just piled on by guys passing you and you're you're fighting and, and I feel like I, I maximize my days on the water but I feel like I really fish thoroughly throughout the day, especially with the breaks. This this format, what can I say? It's 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 probably the most intense I've ever fished in a day. And uh, and to, to put that into a championship, this FLW title championship is going to be your whoever wins this one's going to totally earn it. Oh wow! I'm going to start idling us back. Oh, Sound yeah, good? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ooh. Hey everyone, yesterday was day one of competition for the FLW Title Championship, Group A. Group B is out there today, and um, so Group A sits on the bank, 25 anglers sit on the bank today, while Group B, another 25 anglers, is out there on Sturgeon Bay today. 
And um, sorry, I didn't get a whole lot of time to uh, kind of share or do a lot of dialogue with, you know, with how things were playing out yesterday. About midway through the day, uh, they brought a camera guy to me um, from the camera boat. And um, he came over and got in the boat with me. As I, at one point, I had surged all the way up to third in the standings. Of course, what you got to keep in mind is that Kurt Mitchell was like, I don't know, close to 40 pounds ahead of me at that time when I was in third. <laughs> so, so to say that, uh, to just say that I was in third, you got to kind of take that into perspective. Throughout the day, I'd bounce up and down and bounce up and down. And I didn't think I, I don't, I think I never really got higher than third. Ended up settling in the day for eighth place overall out of the 25 anglers that were on the water. And I uh, had the camera guy with me almost, all, the, well, the whole rest of the day. And uh, things got really slowed down at the end of the day. Um, seemed like the fish had moved. And, and these smallmouth, they moved a lot for me. I had to tr constantly try to reacquire them. And timing was critical. But we went through the break time. And... Um, I thought, well, you know, I'm right here. I did catch that one short fish. I've got to believe there's some other fish here. So why don't I just make a few casts and see? So I stood up and I was, I was as I stood up and grabbed my rod in my hand and I was waiting for the countdown from my boat official. I, I noticed there right on the screen, there's fish. And even out on my Lawrence live site, out in front of the boat, I could see fish. So I'm like, I definitely want to make a few casts here. And I don't know how many casts I made, but, but I hooked up relatively quickly and uh, caught that one. And it was a, like a three plus pounder. And then um, weighed that one, quickly got back in there, caught another one. And um, I was like, oh yeah, they're here. So timing is critical because these fish are moving in and out, coming into feed, moving away. I don't know what makes them leave, but and I don't know what makes them come, but Obviously, they're coming there to feed because when they get there, they do bite. And when I see them on the graph, it's like they're patrolling. And there's pods of them and there's singles, but there's definitely uh, fish in the area. And trying to just converge or connect with them is the key. Uh, caught almost all of them yesterday on a drop shot. Uh, green pumpkin, little three-inch green pumpkin drop shot worm. And then um, and a smoke-colored one. Caught one on a swim bait. Caught one on a jerk bait. The jerk bait fish was the start of the day, and I, of course, um, I had the first penalty of FLW title title championship competition, and um, and so they made a big deal about that. Uh, what happened was I hooked one on a jerk bait, and I saw it was on the hooked on the back hook and just right in the front of the mouth. So I didn't want to just take a lot of time playing him by the boat. I thought my best chance was to go ahead and swing him into the boat. And as I swung him into the boat, he shook. And I, I was trying to grab him at the same time, and he came off the hook and landed in the bottom of the boat. And my official, of course, said, James, that's a uh, fish landing violation. It's a two-minute penalty. So I, uh, I got the first official violation or uh, fish landing violation or penalty of FLW Tour competition. But that's okay. Um, somebody had to do it, and now I go into history in the history books is the guy that did it. So we are sitting at 7.28 and 14 seconds, and I think I'm due out at... 7.31, 10 seconds. 7.31, 10 seconds. We're getting ready to uh, kind of... what well, Actually, what we can do is we can leave the marina at that point and, uh, and begin graphing around and making our way to our fishing spot. And, um, and then Lines In comes in at 8 o'clock. So we still have another 30 minutes yet. So here we go, day two, group A, pretty exciting stuff, hoping to catch enough weight to make it into the knockout round. 